Al Al Hadith Arabic Al Al the people of Hadith also Ashab Al Hadith Ashab Al the adherents of Hadith first emerged in the second third Islamic centuries as a movement of Hadith scholars who considered the Quran and authentic Hadith to be the only authority in matters of law and creed. Its adherents are also known as traditionalists and traditionists from tradition. As a translation of the word hadith, in jurisprudence all al hadith opposed contemporary jurists who based their legal reasoning on informed opinion why or living local practice, referred to as al ar ra why. In matters of faith, they were pitted against the mu tazilites and other theological currents, condemning many points of their doctrines as well as the rationalistic methods they used in defending them. The most prominent leader of the movement was Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Subsequently, all Sunni legal schools gradually came to accept the reliance on the Quran and Hadith advocated by the Al Al Hadith movement, while Al Ash Ari used rationalistic argumentation favored by Mutazilites to defend most tenets of the Al Al Hadith doctrine. In the following centuries, the term Al Al Hadith came to refer to the scholars, mostly of the Hanbali Madhab, who rejected rationalistic theology and held on to the early Sunni creed. This theological school, which is also known as traditionalist theology, has been championed in recent times by the Salafi movement. The term Al Al Hadith is sometimes used in a more general sense to denote a particularly enthusiastic commitment to Hadith and to the views and way of life of the Salaf, exemplary early Muslims. Origins and general characteristics The Al Al Hadith movement emerged toward the end of the 8th century CE among scholars of Hadith who held the Quran and authentic Hadith to be the only acceptable sources of law and creed. At first these scholars formed minorities within existing religious study circles, but by the early 9th century they coalesced into a separate movement under the leadership of Ahmad ibn Hanbal. In legal matters, these scholars criticized the use of personal opinion why common among the Hanafi jurists of Iraq as well as the reliance on living local traditions by Malachite jurists of Medina. They also rejected the use of qiyas analogical deduction and other methods of jurisprudence not based on literal reading of scripture. In matters of faith, they were pitted against mu. Tazilites and other theological currents, condemning many points of their doctrines as well as the rationalistic methods they used in defending them. All al Hadith were also characterized by their avoidance of all state patronage and by their social activism. They attempted to follow the injunction of commanding good and forbidding evil by preaching asceticism and launching vigilante attacks to break wine bottles, musical instruments, and chessboards. Convergence of legal schools Topic. The next two centuries witnessed a broad convergence of legal methodologies which gave rise to the classical theory of Sunni jurisprudence Yusil al Hanafi and Maliki jurists gradually came to accept the primacy of the Quran and Hadith advocated by the Al Al Hadith movement, restricting the use of other forms of legal reasoning to interpretation of these scriptures. This traditionalizing of legal reasoning is exemplified in the work of Malik's student al-Shafi'i, which laid the foundation of the Shafi'i legal school. In turn, Hanbali jurists, who led the traditionalist movement and initially opposed the use of qiyas, gradually came to accept it as long as its application was strictly founded on scriptural sources. Topic. Creed. Topic. Al Al Hadith believed that the zahir, literal, apparent meaning of the qur, and and the hadith have sole authority in matters of faith, and that the use of rational disputation is forbidden even if it verifies the truth. They did not attempt to conceptualize the meanings of the qur unrationally, accepting them without asking how by la kafa, and asserted that their realities should be consigned to God alone. Tafwid. They believed that every part of the Quran is uncreated Al Al Hadith also held that Iman faith increases and decreases in correlation with the performance of prescribed rituals and duties, such as the five daily prayers. Theological controversies 
Topic. In 833, the Caliph Al Ma Moon tried to impose Mu. Tazilite theology on all religious scholars and instituted an inquisition which required them to accept the mu Tazilite doctrine that the qur and was a created object, which implicitly made a subject to interpretation by caliphs and scholars. Ibn Hanbal led traditionalist resistance to this policy, affirming under torture that the Quran was uncreated and hence coeternal with God. Although mu Tazilism remained state doctrine until 851, the efforts to impose it only served to politicize and harden the theological controversy. This controversy persisted until Abu al-Hasan al-Ash found a middle ground between mu Tazilite rationalism and Hanbalite literalism, using the rationalistic methods championed by mu. Tazilites to defend most tenets of the Al Al Hadith doctrine. A rival compromise between rationalism and traditionalism emerged from the work of Al Maturidi, d. c. 944, and one of these two schools of theology was accepted by members of all Sunni madhabs, with the exception of most Hanbalite and some Shafi. I scholars, who ostensibly persisted in their rejection of Kalam, although they often resorted to rationalistic arguments themselves, even while claiming to rely on the literal text of Scripture, although the scholars who rejected the Ash. Ari, maturity synthesis were in the minority, their emotive, narrative based approach to faith remained influential among the urban masses in some areas, particularly in Abbasid Baghdad. While Asharism and Maturidism are often called the Sunni orthodoxy, Traditionalist theology has thrived alongside it, laying rival claims to be the orthodox Sunni faith. In the modern era it has had a disproportionate impact on Islamic theology, having been appropriated by Wahhabi and other traditionalist Salafi currents and spread well beyond the confines of the Hanbali school of law. References Topic. Sources Topic. Berkey, Jonathan Porter 2003. The Formation of Islam, Religion and Society in the Near East, 600 -1800. Cambridge University Press Kindle edition. Blankenship, Khalid 2008. Tim Winter, ed. The Early Creed. The Cambridge Companion to Classical Islamic Theology. Cambridge University Press Kindle edition. Brown, Jonathan A. C. 2009. Hadith, Muhammad's Legacy in the Medieval and Modern World. One World Publications Kindle edition. Halverson, Jeffrey R. 2010. Theology and Creed in Sunni Islam, The Muslim Brotherhood, Asharism, and Political Sunnism. Springer, Google Play edition. Hodgson, Marshall G. S. 2009. The Venture of Islam, Volume 1, The Classical Age of Islam. University of Chicago Press Kindle edition. Hoover, John 2014. Hanbali Theology. In Sabine Schmidtke. The Oxford Handbook of Islamic Theology. Oxford, Oxford University Press, Subscription Required Help. Lapidus, Ira M. 2014. A History of Islamic Societies. Cambridge University Press Kindle edition. ISBN 978-0-521-51430-9. Lehman, Oliver 2008. Tim Winter, ed. The Developed Kalam Tradition. The Cambridge Companion to Classical Islamic Theology. Cambridge University Press Kindle Edition. Lehman, Oliver 2009. Al-Al-Hadith. In John L. Esposito. The Oxford Encyclopedia of the Islamic World. Oxford, Oxford University Press, subscription required, help. 